Hello everyone, welcome to this tutorial about spawn spots in frame. Now spawn spots make it easy for people to come to a particular place in your frame and they can do this a few ways. Let's get started just by adding a spawn spot to the frame. Now to do this you either need to be on a frame that you've created or you need to have edit permission for the frame. I'm going to the add to this frame drop down and you'll see a button for add spawn spot. Once you click that, you can give it a name. Now the name is important, so you don't want to make the name too long or too clunky. Uh, because this one is going to the theater, I'm just going to call it theater. And now I'm going to add it. Now spawn spots uh, show up. You see this one kind of disappeared. It's, the message is saying you can see them if you're in edit mode. Okay. So I'm going to turn on edit mode. And there is my spawn spot. Looks like I had another one built over here, which is kind of clogging the scene a little bit. So I'm going to remove that one. And here's the one we just made called theater. Now, just like any other asset, you can click on it to move it around if you want to, um, you know, specify its position uh, beyond where you just initially brought it in. So I'm moving it. I want it to be right on this platform. So I'm just moving it around. There we go. Okay, now once a spawn spot is set, you might be wondering, well, how do people uh, get there? And there are two ways. The first way is you can actually just change the link that you send people to your frame so that they spawn right at the spawn spot. So because this spawn spot is called theater, in your frame link, if people put the hash sign, like hashtag theater, they will spawn right at that spot instead of at the default spawn spot for the frame. So I'm gonna change my, I'm just gonna add this to the link, hash theater at the end, press enter, and you can see it spawns me right here, okay? That is pretty powerful stuff. So you can send people links, uh, special links, if you just want them to spawn into certain spots. Now the other way people can go to a spawn spot is by using a location link. So you might know that if you add an image, um, to a frame, you can put a link on it. Uh, I just added this frame logo here, and I'm going to rotate it a little bit, sort of put it on the ground. Now I'm in edit mode, so I'm going to um, click on the add a link button, and you'll see a link type called link to spot. And if you select that, then in this dropdown, you'll see a list of all of your spawn spots in the scene. We only have one, it's called theater, so I'm going to click it. Now, what this means is that when people click on this image that you put a link on, it will take them right to the spawn spot that's linked to it. So I'm going to click on it. You'll see it says, this will take you to the theater location in this frame. And you press confirm, and then voila, we are here at our spawn spot. Now, if you want to get fancy, there are a few other settings. Um, you can set whether you want people to spawn at a random point in the circle around the spawn spot, or if you turn this off, they will be, uh, they'll spawn facing the direction of this little tiny triangle, and then you can rotate the spawn spot so that they spawn, uh, you know, with a certain perspective facing the screen, for example. Uh, if they go to this, they'd be, they spawn facing the screen. Okay, so there you have it. Those are spawn spots. Again, you can access these spots with a special tag in the URL or by setting a, uh, a special link on an asset in your frame. So you can make buttons that users press to teleport them to certain spots. Okay, I hope that was helpful. Good luck.